In decentralized, cloud-native systems, microservice architecture poses significant challenges in assessing system qualities, hindering the construction and comprehension of a holistic system view. Despite its benefits for scalability and performance, microservice architecture lacks established best practices and guidelines, making it difficult to ensure maintainability. To address this, a comprehensive framework is proposed for fostering microservice maintainability assurance. This framework integrates diverse perspectives, including human-centric elements like architectural visualization and automated evaluation such as coupling detection, testing coverage measurement, and semantic clone identification. By automating the assessment process, the framework enhances practitioners' understanding and analytical capabilities of multiple system perspectives. Validation studies involving practitioners demonstrate the framework's effectiveness in addressing diverse quality and maintainability issues, revealing insights not apparent when analyzing individual microservices in isolation. The framework's objective is to enhance analytical abilities and reasoning in architectural design, identify early indicators of system design degradation, and offer testability measurements for the system. The importance of microservices in cloud-native applications cannot be overstated, as they are designed as small, interdependent services that enhance agility and resource utilization. However, the lack of comprehensive guidelines governing microservices practices necessitates the development of a framework that addresses the challenges of microservice-based systems. By introducing an automated assessment framework, this research aims to address the significant costs incurred after initial deployment with approximately 80% of the total cost of a typical software system spent on modification and maintenance. The architecture of microservices-based systems is crucial for maintainability, but it faces challenges in tracking dependencies, constructing system-centric views, implementing automatic testability, and visualizing complexity. Research focuses on four key questions. Understanding dependencies within microservices, constructing holistic views of the system architecture implementing quality assessment methodologies, and designing a tailored visualization methodology. The approach combines systematic literature review and open and axial coding to understand dependencies, develop system-centric views, quality assessment methods, and visualization techniques. This includes a discussion paper on dependency and maintainability correlations and a dependency taxonomy under review. This research focuses on developing a comprehensive system view for microservice architectures. It employs the Software Architecture Reconstruction SAR, methodology to automatically generate these views. A roadmap for generating different representations from system artifacts is established through a review methodology. The study utilizes both static and dynamic analyses to capture multiple dimensions of the system. Prototypes and case studies are developed to assess the effectiveness of the method and the completeness of the generated viewpoints. The research develops a comprehensive framework for assessing microservices systems, integrating human-centric aspects with automated evaluation facets. It considers various system granularities and perspectives, combining architectural visualization with quality assessment. The framework is based on six layers, starting from system artifacts and culminating at the application layer, harmonizing with three granularity component layers. This holistic viewpoint effectively addresses issues, uncovering insights that might be missed when analyzing individual microservices in isolation. Techniques for effective system modifications, ensuring testability, and improving modularity and reusability are introduced to maintain manageability. The work also provides valuable resources to the community, including publications, catalogs, datasets, testing suites, and a visualization tool. In the realm of quantum computing, a pivotal breakthrough has been achieved in the development of a novel algorithm for quantum phase estimation. This groundbreaking research introduces an innovative approach that significantly enhances the precision and efficiency of quantum phase estimation, paving the way for further advancements in this rapidly evolving field. The quantum phase estimation algorithm is a cornerstone in quantum computing, allowing for the estimation of the phase phi introduced by a unitary operator U. However, existing methods are often limited by their reliance on Ankela qubits and complex entanglement operations, which can lead to errors and inefficiencies. The new algorithm proposed in this study circumvents these limitations through the use of a novel quantum Fourier transform technique.
By leveraging the properties of non-abelian anions, researchers have developed a method that eliminates the need for onkyla qubits and reduces the number of entanglement operations required. This results in a substantial improvement in both the precision and efficiency of quantum phase estimation. The proposed algorithm operates within the framework of topological quantum computing, utilizing the unique properties of non-abelian anions to encode quantum information in a fault-tolerant manner. These anions are topological defects that arise in certain two-dimensional systems and exhibit non-trivial braiding statistics, making them ideal for quantum computation. The key innovation of this research lies in the implementation of a modified quantum Fourier transform, which is essential for achieving high-precision phase estimation. By employing a combination of anion-based quantum gates and carefully designed measurement protocols, the researchers have developed a Fourier transform technique that minimizes errors and maximizes efficiency. This novel approach not only improves the accuracy of quantum phase estimation but also reduces the computational resources required making it more feasible for practical implementation. Furthermore, the elimination of onkyla qubits simplifies the overall architecture of quantum circuits, potentially leading to more reliable and scalable quantum computers. While this research represents a significant advancement in quantum computing, there are still challenges to be addressed. Future studies will need to explore the practical implementation of this algorithm and investigate potential limitations or sources of error. Nevertheless, the proposed method offers a promising avenue for further research and development in the field of quantum phase estimation.